Yay, welcome to Love 5 TV. I'm your hostess, Reverend Lunch Lady, and this is the place to get the tips, tools, and strategies to get past those frustrating barriers to love that keep you kind of attracting the same person over and over again so that you can actually receive something amazing, which I like to call unicorn love because it is the kind of love that you never thought could exist, but it does. So today I want to share with you one of the most important shifts that I made when I was in my last round of dating. And if you've heard my story, I was probably one of the first online daters in the late 1990s and feeling really crappy about it, like embarrassed, like secretive, thinking I must be a loser if I'm doing this. And it was so hard and awful. And it wasn't until, you know, 15 years later when I was in my 40s and I just decided, you know what, this is not what I want. I want to create something different. I want to actually meet someone and share my life with someone. And when I made that commitment, then I did a lot more of the deeper specific work around relationship stuff that allowed me to turn the Titanic and create something totally different. And um, it was a big shift. So today I'm teaching you one tool that is specific to dating. So if you are a woman who is wanting to put yourself out there going to social events or going online dating, because now guess what? That's an organic way to date anymore because it's just part of our modern world that we use technology in these ways. And um but I know a lot of people get frustrated with that and just know it's only one tool in the mix. But if you want to make it work for you, it does require a specific mindset to do that. And I will say that there are a million things I can teach you right now, but I want to just focus in on this one tool that when I made this change, it was like the energy saver of all energy savers when it came to dating. Because for me, it was one of those things where I would start dating, I would be enthusiastic, and then I'd go hardcore for a couple of weeks and then just face plant and be like, I can't do this. I got to quit and delete all the apps and be done with it and need like two months or something to recover from that. Tell me if you can relate, post in the comments, because, you know, it does take a lot of emotional energy and concentration. And sometimes for me, it felt like another full time job. It was only when I changed all of that that made the difference. And what I can say is that when you have that sustainability with your energy and meeting people and you're not burning out and you're not on this emotional roller coaster, then guess what? You can actually meet more people. You're dating longer. You're available more. It's not this like exhaustion and huge energy drain that it may have been before. So I'm calling this video No Vibes Needed for this tool because this tool is about getting indifferent. And let me explain what that means because when you're dating, you probably heard me say this, but most of the people that you see out there in the world are not your person. Sometimes we can get into this interesting delusion that when we start dating or putting ourselves on an online dating app, that if we don't see a bunch of people that are really hot and sexy in our type and writing us and all of that, that it can become this sad story about, oh my God, there are no good ones out there. How many of you have felt like that? Well, I want to tell you that 100% of the time for the for 100% of the people, that is the case where there's not just one app that has all of these amazing partners for you. It is about that, you know, sifting and sorting and looking for people who do pique your curiosity and interest. 
And so indifference is a powerful tool because if you can get more indifferent about all of the ones that aren't yours, that aren't interesting to you, the ones that even write you or maybe even send you a nasty picture or something and like, ah, if you can get more and more indifferent about that, meaning no energy, no charge, no significance at all, then you're not losing all this energy every time that happens. I think sometimes people have a habit of that. Okay, Francine, no dating tips from you right now. Okay. Um, my chihuahua's in the background singing her favorite, when are we going to eat song? Um, anyway, so the more you can get like practiced at that, because I know when I did that and I said, you know what? As I go online, when I go online, I am not giving any energy to anyone who is just not interesting to me. Even people who may even write me, people who may even write like nice messages, people even writing nice messages that are obvious that they read my profile and really are like probably a kind person. For some of those, I may write, hey, you know, I'm not feeling it. Good luck with your search. But that was a canned message that I would use so that I'm not using a lot of, oh, my gosh, I don't want to hurt his feelings. I don't want to, oh, my God, how do I deal with this? Like, none of that. None of that. And when you're indifferent and when you're just letting these people just kind of float by, I like to think of it like floating by like leaves on a river, just letting it float by like no charge, no charge. I mean, I also think of it like going into the grocery store and you're walking through the store, you're not getting mad or, or upset at every product that's not something you would eat. You don't. You're just looking for what sounds delicious to you or what you like. And, and you go to those things. So be aware of how you approach this. And when you can change this, so make a choice right now. Are you willing to be indifferent about all of the ones that aren't meant for you anyway? All of the ones that you're not interested in. If you're not interested in them or there's no connection, I mean, we can go into this deeper. If you're if you're using kind of a template of I don't do bald or this or that or that whatever, like if there are a lot of judgmental sort of surfacey things that in the end aren't about who the person is some of these things may be like if you see someone who if you're super um athletic and high energy person and you see someone that is not looking like that then it's not necessarily a judgment it's an awareness of yeah i'm pretty active this person may not be so that may not be a match and you can learn more about that but um, there are subtleties in this, so I just want to make you aware that I'm not, I'm inviting you to notice if you have some things that actually aren't helpful in terms of meeting someone who's kind and loving and who could be a good match for you versus um, like a blanket judgment that doesn't consider anything about who the person is at all. Because um, most people who work with me find that they meet people who they're slightly surprised about and they are equally attracted to them to the fullest. So it's also that it's not about, oh, you're going to have to like someone you're not attracted to. No, it's not that at all. Okay. I think I just went on a big tangent. But anyway, so this is, we're talking about turning off our reaction, turning off to the, the habit of going into drama and trauma when you're interacting online, you know, really stopping that hyper reaction when it comes to people who aren't a match for you. Like that doesn't need energy. The only thing that you want to have vibes for is you want to bring the vibes for what really is fun for you. And the more you can save your energy for, wow, 
I know what's fun for me. That's what I am calling in. That's what I'm asking for. And yeah, there may be times that you go to an event or go on a, a singles activity or go online and just there's no one interesting for you that day. And that doesn't mean you don't have a person. It just means your person is special and he's not, he or she is not every person. So just be aware of that. So that really is the teaching for today is no vibes needed. So when you are out there, you're dating, you're shopping, turn off any need to go into reaction or resistance or fight or drama or trauma, or this is what always happens to me, any supercharged stuff around what you don't want. Like, no need for that. You just let it be, eh. Like, I like to think of it as like, meh. Like, meh being your superpower. Meh can be a superpower. If it's just like, meh, then don't use energy on it. That's what the beauty of just saying meh is. It's like, there's not really any energy required for that. So when you do that, then just, you know, it, keep focusing on what is fun for you. And it may not be a person in that moment. It may be going paddle boarding. It may be making art, it may be going to a yoga class. It may be sitting and reading or taking a walk in nature or visiting with a friend and having tea. Like those things, how you live your life is your love life. How you love your life is your love life. So say it with me. How I love my life is my love life. How I love my life is my love life. How I love my life is my love life. That's your message for today. Thanks for being here. See you tomorrow. Don't forget to like and subscribe and invite your unicorn friends. Thank you. Bye.